Okay, now let's give a look at the array type questions. Array type questions occurs when you have a battery of questions all with the same answer options. So we can, for example, add a new question. We can click on add new question to group and we can write a code for this question. So, for example, let's write Q20. And let's suppose that you are asking the questions about uh, uh, electronic device. So, with the title, uh, uh, the name of the questions, maybe uh, do you own, for example, and then we select the question type array. Okay. And remember, please select always the first type. So in the group array, select array. Then we click on select and then we save. After saving, we get two warnings. So if you remember, in the single choice question, we get only one warning and the warning said uh, uh, you need uh, uh, to add answer options. In this case, we need to add both the answer options and the sub-questions. So let's start, first of all, adding our sub-questions. Please note that we can, in every moment, change the answer options and the sub-question, clicking also here in, on the top, selecting adding edit sub-questions or edit answer options. So for now we add the sub-questions, okay? And again as code we select a number one. So if we are asking for electronic device, here we may write for example television in the second can write radio. In the third, we can also write notebook. In the fourth, tablet. And so we have finished and we click on save or if we want directly on save and close. If we close, now you see that we have only one warning and the warning is that we need to add the answer options. So we select to add answer options and our op options may be yes and not. Again, as a code, we select numbers. So in this case, we may select one for yes and two for not. Okay, now we select save and close. And if we preview this question, now you see that you have, you get the battery of items all on the same screen. Please note that here we have also the no answer options. If we want to remove the no answer options, we have to get this screen settings and then we can select on uh, presentation. And here we have the show no answer and we set it on off as uh, I don't know why, but by default, Lime Survey set no answer on yes. Of course, we don't want to see it, so we, we select show no answer off and you click on save. And we wait just a minute to save the option. We Select again question 20. We can preview this question. And now, as you see, no answer disappeared.